today and to be honest it was somewhat challenging but once I took a bite out of it it wasn't so hard if you're watching this and you've seen the previous video then congratulations you finished the ACT but furthermore for all the people who showed up today on time well everyone showed up on time technically for everyone who showed up on time who brought their self to where they needed to be this morning I am proud of you not only am I proud of you your teachers are proud of you your school is proud of you you not only showed your school what you got you've proved to yourself that there's not a challenge that you cannot that there isn't a challenge that's too big for you because I know many kids today like a handful of kids did not want to show up and take that test but they did I know many of you guys could have been you could have just done something stupid and got sent out of the test and took the easy way out but nobody really did that nobody really did that sure everybody had doubts but when I stopped in the middle of my test to just look around it made my it made me tear up a little to see everybody just trying so hard it really represented the, the juniors at their finest hour we're not even that serious in class most of us but when it came down to the test we knew what we were doing we got down to it and most of the people I know are goofballs but I saw them I saw them over there doing the test I was like you know what if they can do it you can do it keep going keep going I wanted to slam my head into the table but I just told myself I just took my arm and just went let's get it I just kept saying let's get it and I got myself to do it I was tired but the, the main thing that inspired me during that test was my teacher seeing Miss Klein stop and smile at me and Tread, I just raised my thumb and said I could do this it's time to show you what I got and I feel confident that there is no other obstacle this year that's gonna stop me from achieving and being successful and neither should you guys because first of all you took the first step showing up like I said no nobody really wanted to show up everybody wanted to just go hide under a rock like seriously but you guys did it you showed up that was the first step the second step was to not just freak out and bubble in all your answers I looked around I kinda felt like I shouldn't be I shouldn't have five minutes left on this test because everyone else was still working everyone was still working I could tell that nobody really scribbled in answers until they were down to like two or one minutes even at that there were still kids who still fought to bubble in their answers and that is unprecedented because many people don't put this much effort into their schoolwork but to see them put it into a test it really shows that that they cared about their future that they were taking advantage of this opportunity to take this test for free many of them they wanted to achieve and, and guys I can say safely hopefully that congratulations that you achieved again the biggest challenge that was laid down this year there should be no doubt that when we go to take our EOCs for the end of course exam in what a few weeks next month I mean a few months you should feel good about yourself that you took the ACT that there that that ACT preferred 
prepared you for any other difficult things you might encounter along the way. So with that, again, I'll probably say congratulations like three different times because I'm just so amazed by what us as a class of students, a generation of students have accomplished today. I'm intrigued by all the hard work we put into this. We put in more effort than we do on our schoolwork. I mean, that was really motivational. I, For some people, I motivate some people, but for once, y'all motivated me. Seeing all of y'all just getting down to serious business, doing what you need to do, taking care of your business. It really, it really showed me today that we might act like idiots, but we're, we're really grown up. We, we get down to business. I'm pretty sure if all our teachers were there, they would, even they would, they would tear up a little bit. I mean, you can't, I, you can't really just say that it was because of all the strict rules. It wasn't that, because there was like a couple people that got sent out for violations. There could have been a lot of us that could have been sent out for violations, but you chose not to violate the rules. It was your choice. They didn't force you not to violate the rules. You chose not to violate the rules because you cared about your test. Those people who violated the rules, they didn't care about their test. But we, but you guys did. It was self-control. It wasn't because of the strict parameters of the test. It was because of self-control, because of everyone's will to want to do it. And that, it's just still puzzles me. It really does. But I can say the test, the test itself wasn't so hard once you get down to it. When I took a bite out of it, well just when I took a bite out of the reading part, on the way to the math part, I was literally going through with flying colors. I literally felt that I could take on the rest of the test. That I did not guess not one time, except when there when we had five minutes left and time was close to being called. But for majority, I took my thorough time. Everyone else did as well. Like everyone did, and, and I'm proud of that. I'm proud to be of this generation of juniors. Because you kind of don't see the hard working, the hard working class of kids. Because I'm pretty sure many of the newer kids into our building this year, they would have freaked out if they were giving those, they were giving this circumstances. But they didn't. They, didn't, they weren't given the circumstances we were. And we did amazing under pressure. No one broke down as far as I know. No one gave up. We did it. All of us. I can't just say I did the ACT. I can't say I did it alone. But I'm happy to say that we as a class generation of juniors we did it and we were persistent we as a team did it we blew the test out we climbed over the boundaries we opened up doors and sure don't feel bad if your score is low this time just You'll just know that you can, you'll just basically know that, well, you can do it next time even better because you've had practice. Like when I got to the test, after, I felt kind of funny though because Miss Klein's practice passages were harder than what was on the ACT and I was really surprised I really thought I was in a dream it was surreal 
But when I got to the math part, I realized it was real. Even though I feel like I failed it, I still have confidence that I gave it my all. And that I'm going to see it count for something. And so should you guys. So with that, congratulations. We did it, juniors. Not not just us. It was our teachers as well. We couldn't have done it without them. He couldn't have done it without him. So, with that, we got a whole nother few months of this year to finish up. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get it! <laughs>